will lie uh, in the state for three days. Preparations at Parliament are underway and uh, we'll start with um, NTV's Leila Mohamed. Leila, a very good afternoon to you. What are we expecting for the next four days or so? Leila. Well, Nina, military dictates that an, a head of state who is a commander-in-chief uh, of the rank of uh, uh, a general will be given full military honors, and that process has already begun. It began on uh, Friday last week once President Uhuru Kenyatta made that announcement that the former president had died, and that is why there is heavy military presence here at the precincts of parliament. Uh, the military police has already taken over. It is guarding the Lee Funeral Home, uh, where the body will lie. And in the morning, just to go through uh, the nitty gritties of how this will happen, the military says that by 7 or 5 a.m., the body will leave the Lee Funeral Home and uh, drive down Valley Road and take some parts of Kenyatta Avenue all the way to the precincts of Parliament Road and enter Parliament uh, before 7.30 a.m., where it will be received by both speakers of Parliament and the Senate, that is Speaker Justin Muturi and his counterpart uh, from uh, the Senate. Uh, after that, uh, the head of state is expected here at 10 a.m. Uh, that morning and whoever is leaving is Joshua Omukata, the Nairobi County Commandant of Traffic who has been here all morning and the National Police will be coordinating uh, some of the traffic challenges that will be facing the city tomorrow morning uh, and certain sections of that program will be closed. But Nina, going forward, this will be a ceremony that Kenyans have seen before over the last two years. Uh, President Daniel Torre teach Arab Moi was being honored in a similar fashion. He will be given full honors, like I said, of a military general uh, according to the dictates of uh, the Kenya Defense Forces. So senior generals of the rank of brigadier all the way to lieutenant general are already here and they will be pallbearers. Uh, for that body that will be arriving here. So they will accompany uh, the body from the Lee Funeral Home as it snakes down that valley road. That body will be draped and the casket will be draped in the national flag. And once it arrives at the precincts of Parliament, Nina, we expect the body to lay uh, on the standard, that the presidential standard, this is a flag that is significant and a symbolic uh, to the rule of the presidency. His was white with a touch of green and the Kenyan symbol of authority, which is, is significant in one way or the other. This is to just to honor this head of state. Uh, for, for those who do not understand the significance of the standard, this is the symbol of the presidency. And once he is anywhere present, uh, that flag will run uh, consistently with the Kenya national flag and the flag of the Kenya Defense Forces, of which he is the commander-in-chief. So I've seen senior generals in uh, the army and the Kenya Defense Forces, uh, Brigadier Joachim Mumburi and Brigadier Jeff Nyaga, who are holding fort in terms of uh, looking at uh, the symbolism of uh, walking down. Brigadier Mumburi is not uh, new to this job. He undertook uh, the duty of uh, leading the team of generals who carried uh, the casket of President uh, Daniel Toroitich Arakmoi. Uh, President Kibaki himself was among the many Kenyans who streamed here for a week, but this will be three days uh, to honor the late president. Uh, and uh, the there the, the, the will be full military uh, honors uh, going forward until Friday uh, when there will be a public uh, uh, funeral service at the Nyao National Stadium. Also, uh, that will be led by the military forces as well, uh, are leading up to his burial in uh, Odaya on Saturday. So, Nina, from here, uh, it's just uh, the preparations going through the paces of what has been happening. But for the military, they have always been in preparation mode. Uh, to enable uh, a, a send-off befitting that of a national leader, that of a former commander-in-chief who took uh, the Kenya Defense Forces to various military excursions, including Operation Linda Inchi in 2011, uh, when he was looking at the seriousness of defending Kenya's sovereignty inside Somali territory. So I take it back to you, Nina, as we listen in into the national anthem uh, that is currently being played by the band by the Kenya Defense